Good morning, Dr. Windish again here from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Our office phone number is area code 775-359-7111. Please remember this video series is not instead of consultation with your doctor. If you have concerns about your child's health, please make an appointment to see your physician. If you'd like us to see you, you can call our office 359-7111, and again, that's area code 775. 775, we're in the Sparks, Reno, Nevada area. Today what we want to talk about is the dangers of antibiotic therapy. Now let there be no doubt about it, there are certain times when antibiotics absolutely save lives. And under those circumstances we need to use antibiotics, we need to use whatever are appropriate antibiotics, we need to use them for as long as necessary to maintain the health of the patient. However, Everything we do in medicine has risks, and antibiotic therapy carries with it certain very serious, well-known, well-defined risks. A lot of doctors and a lot of patients seem to forget about these risks, and they use antibiotics inappropriately, or they request them inappropriately, and it results in a lot of harm to patients, and that's harm that many times people such as myself are then expected to fix. Sometimes we can't fix the harm. So we're going to talk about the risks. What are the risks of antibiotics? Well, the first risk is that it may just not work. Viruses such as influenza, stomach flu viruses such as rotavirus, uh, Epstein-Barr virus which causes mononucleosis, cytomegalovirus, chickenpox, varicella, zoster virus, herpes virus, HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, do not respond to typical antibiotics. They need very specific antiretroviral or antiviral medications which work only against a very narrow set of, of, um, of viruses. Typical antibiotics treat only living, breathing organisms, bacteria. So we need to reserve our therapy for bacteria and we need to reserve it for known bacterial infections. Other risks, because antibiotics are not specific to the germ that we're attempting to kill, they kill off good bacteria, bacteria that belong in your body, bacteria that live on your body but don't cause problems. In the process, they then select for the so-called superbugs, the multidrug resistant bacteria, so that when you do get sick with one of these bacteria, the typical antibiotics will no longer work and eventually we run the risk that no antibiotic will work and if that happens those infections will become fatal. An additional risk by killing off the good bacteria in your uh, GI tract, your intestines, you risk diarrhea. In the process of killing off the good bacteria you alter the growth of other bacteria in the GI tract and you can then set the patient up for the growth of a special bacterium called Clostridium difficile. C. diff as we sometimes refer to it results in intractable di bloody diarrhea with severe abdominal pain. It can be fatal, it is very difficult to treat, often results in hospitalization and can I've seen it result from as little as one dose of narrow spectrum antibiotics such as amoxicillin. Uh, it's always a risk and it's very dangerous. It is unpredictable and it is unpreventable when you're on antibiotics. Consequently, you need to reserve the antibiotics and use them judiciously only when you know you have a disease that needs to be treated because we don't want to risk Clostridium difficile. Other risks include yeast infections both in the mouth in the genital tract and potentially in the GI tract, especially if a patient is immune compromised. Yeast infections in the GI tract of an immune compromised patient can rapidly become fatal and they're very difficult to treat. So again, we reserve our antibiotics for high risk cases. Now some immune compromised patients, such as patients with cancer on chemotherapy, need to receive antibiotics all the time and the risk of of uh, fungal infections in their GI tract is just part of the risk of their chemotherapy. It's a very dangerous situation, but so is having life-threatening cancer. Having said that, we don't need to invite that into our lives. If you are not one of those patients, avoiding antibiotics when you do not have a bacterial infection is definitely in your best interest. Finally, certain antibiotics carry with them very specific risks, something called Stevens-Johnson syndrome. With Stevens-Johnson syndrome, patients 
slough off the lining of their skin, the lining of the inside of their eyelids, the lining of their GI tract, the lining of their bladder and uh, urinary tract. This can rapidly result in death, can require skin grafting, uh, it actually has about a 20% mortality rate. It can result in blindness from scars uh, forming over the cornea as a result of the sloughing of the skin in the eyes. It can result in bladder obstruction. It can result in airway obstruction from sloughing of the lining of the airways, including the bronchial tubes. This is a very dangerous situation and um, absolutely can happen from antibi certain antibiotic therapy and is one reason why we don't prescribe antibiotics without long hard thoughts because we just can't take the chance of this very unusual but very dangerous and very painful medical condition. Having said that, if your child needs antibiotics, it's something to discuss with your doctor. There is a time and place for them. We certainly prescribe a lot of antibiotics. I prescribe a lot of antibiotics. But I give it serious thought each and every time because I am aware of the fact that this is not without risk and the risk needs to outweigh the benefit or the benefits of the antibiotic therapy need to outweigh the risks of the antibiotic therapy. As a patient you need to be aware of those risks and you need to be aware of the potential benefits for you as well. Please don't ask your doctor to treat a viral, sim a viral syndrome, a cold, a flu with antibiotics. You're taking a lot of risk. If you think your child is sick, if you think your child needs antibiotics, or if you think your child should not be on antibiotics they've been prescribed, please call your doctor, make an appointment, be seen. We're happy to discuss that with you here. You can make an appointment at our office at 359-7111. Don't alter your medical therapy without discussing this with your physician. Have a good day.